Okay, so hi everyone. Uh, today we'll be talking about laptop trackpads. So today we'll be covering what a trackpad is, uh, some quick notes on parts and different variations of a trackpad, a few basic gestures, as well as some tips and tricks on how to use a trackpad. So first of all, what is a trackpad? So if you don't know, a trackpad can also be called a touchpad. It's an input device to your computer, just like your keyboard. So you can do a few different gestures with it, and you can interact with your laptop by moving the cursor around and clicking on buttons. So you can see this little image on the right is showing an example of someone using a trackpad, a touchpad. So a trackpad is like a mouse that's built into your laptop, and it's usually located just below the keyboard. You could think of it as a mouse that's been flattened and then kind of embedded into your mouse, sorry, your computer. Uh, so there's two main variations of trackpads, a traditional trackpad and a buttonless trackpad. So a traditional trackpad has two dedicated buttons, one for left click and one for right click. And sometimes they'll have a center click button. So the image on the left shows a more traditional trackpad with just left and right click buttons. And the one on the right also has a center click button and that's the little trapezoid there. So a traditional trackpad was one of the more popular types of trackpads. Uh, it's fairly easy to use and reliable. It's also very accurate. It's very hard to make mistakes because the left and right click buttons are dedicated. So it's pretty difficult to accidentally pick the other one, just like the mouse. A buttonless trackpad, on the other hand, doesn't have any buttons, but you can push down on its surface. So it's now more popular than a button trackpad, and you can simply click down on any point on the surface to make a click. And it's slightly harder to learn because uh, if your clicks aren't precise, you can end up doing something wrong, like right clicking instead of left clicking or vice versa. So now for some gestures on trackpads. So we'll start with some fairly basic gestures, then we'll move up to some advanced gestures and then a few neat tricks that you might not know. So general note, most of the following trackpad gestures work on both Windows and Mac, unless explicitly pointed out. If not, another difference would be how your screen will look like on some of the gestures. So first of all, if your trackpad has two dedicated buttons, pressing the right button is like a right click on a mouse and the left click button is just like a left click on mouse. If you're using a touchless trackpad, then clicking on the left side of it will you produce a left click, and clicking on the right side of it will produce a right click. Sometimes, like this image down here, there'll also be a little line that shows kind of where it's divided. So to right click on a Mac computer, however, you have to press the control key and click the trackpad perform a right click. Uh, another version of right click, which is exclusive to Windows, is by tapping with two fingers at the same time, which is the same thing as a right click. Now to scroll on a trackpad, if you're scrolling up and down on a page, you just move your uh, thing, you put two fingers on the trackpad and then scroll up or down. And if you have reverse scrolling on in your computer settings, it might be different. So you can check out your settings to see what that is. Just open settings and search for reverse scrolling. And if you're scrolling left and right on a page, then again, you use two fingers and just move left or right to see contents or contents horizontally. And again, this is governed by reverse scrolling. So to double check your settings. Now to drag, uh, to click and drag, or if you're selecting something, you use one finger to click and then use a second finger to drag around on the trackpad to select something. This can take a bit of practice, but it should become pretty easy pretty quickly. To zoom in or zoom out on a page, so if you're having trouble reading something or it's too close, then you put two fingers on the trackpad and pinch them towards each other to zoom in, 
or put two fingers on the trackpad and spin them outwards to zoom out. Now a few more advanced gestures that are a bit trickier, but are also pretty useful. So to highlight, again, this was something I discussed earlier. It's like you can drag, but uh, instead of just dragging anywhere, you drag your cursor over the specific parts that you want to highlight. Uh, now, if you want to highlight just one word, then uh, you put your cursor over the word you're trying to highlight. Then with one finger, you tap twice quickly, and it'll highlight the word. So if you're trying to copy it, say, then you can easily do that. If you're trying to highlight a whole paragraph text, then you take one finger again, and this time you tap three times, and that'll highlight the whole paragraph. So if you're trying to copy something, say you're sending out a mass email, and you can send it a few different times. This is a good way to do that. Uh, now some more neat tricks that you might not have known that are really useful and make using a computer a bit faster and smoother. So first of all, to open all your windows. So what I mean by this is you can see this image here. It shows all the different apps that are currently open. So by doing the next gesture, you can see all the windows, so it's easy to quickly navigate between apps. So to do this, you take three fingers, place them on the trackpad, and swipe them up, so away from you. Now, to show the desktop, so first of all, the desktop is the home screen of your computer. So it looks something like this. This is a Windows computer. It'll look a little different for Mac, but it's the same basic idea. So to show the desktop, you get and place three fingers on the trackpad, and this time swipe them down or towards yourself. And now, this unfortunately doesn't work on Mac computers. Now, to switch between open windows, so say you have Google Chrome open and you're watching, say, a movie or something else, and you want to switch between them, you place three fingers on the trackpad and swipe right or left, and they'll navigate within the different windows. To switch page, so if you're going, say, back on the Google Chrome tab or forward, you place two fingers on the trackpad, and you can swipe left to go backwards and right to go forwards. So here's an example on Google Chrome. So this image shows a tab that's open. And if you place two fingers on the trackpad and start swiping left, you can see in the red box, there's a little arrow that's starting to show up. And that's showing that you're going to go back. So when you release, it'll send you back to the previous page. And the same thing would happen if you're going forward to the next page. It would be on, it would be on the right side of your screen. Now, to open the Action Center. So first of all, the, what is the Action Center? It's a place to view all your different notifications. So if you get an email, a little box will pop up saying, you have a new email from someone. So this is on Windows. Windows Action Center can be found in Windows 10 at the bottom right of your screen. You can see in the red circle, the little icon looks like a speed bubble. And if you see a number in a circle, that's how many notifications are there that you haven't read yet. So this is what it looks like when you open it. So it shows some basic settings and then as well as notifications. But this is for Windows 10. To use the Windows Action Center, you place four fingers on the touchpad. <laughs> and the Mac OS uh, Center for Mac OS 10 or earlier, at the top right of your screen, you see a little arrow pointing to it. It looks like three dots with some lines next to them. And for Mac OS 11 or earlier, you can also click the date and time. So the Mac Action Center, to open it quickly, you place two fingers and swipe from uh, right to left on your trackpad. And you'll see a screen that looks something like this. You can see a few different notifications, a calendar, and some stocks. <coughs> to display the launch pad, this is a Mac exclusive feature. It shows you basically all the different apps you have installed on your computer. It looks something like this image at the top here. You place three fingers and your thumb trackpad and pinch them towards each other. You can see little arrows showing the gesture. 
uh, we have some more resources at these links, and this will go out with the email that comes with the presentation. Uh, so an alter to a trackpad is a wireless mouse. So if you prefer a mouse to a trackpad, maybe a trackpad just feels a bit weird or you're not used to it, you can also purchase a wireless mouse or a corded mouse to use with your laptop, and you can in, uh, ignore the trackpad entirely. Uh, Bluetooth mouses are very popular, and they connect to your laptop using Bluetooth, and you don't have to worry about cords getting tangled or anything like that. You can buy them from lots of different places like Best Buy, Walmart, Amazon, or other tech retailers. As a pro, they're often more ergonomically friendly, so they're easier on your hands. You don't have to put your hand in a weird position, but they do run on batteries, so you have to charge those separately every once in a while. Uh, and that's it for today. Thanks for listening. You can sign up for a one-on-one -on -one session if you have more questions on this at cyberseniors.org or call the number to register for a one-on-one -on -one phone session. We also have weekly tech drop-in sessions from 2 to 3 p.m. Eastern time every Thursday.